Hello guys, Mike here with 2-1-0 Scrapping and today we're going to be scrapping a CD-ROM drive. I've done a lot of these before and I usually just uh, take them apart and take the gold out of it. So uh, today we're just going to show you how to take these apart. You just take some screws off. It's fairly easy. There's no, no trick to this, you know. Not nothing complicated. You just take some screws off. All right, well, you take the casing off. That's gonna be some tin. You just put it off to the side. And here, we're gonna want to take off this board here. And this one doesn't look to be screwed. Nope. So we just get take it off. Disconnect all the cables, and here's the little board. I looked up the price on these on board board sort. They're uh, two eighty a pound, two dollars and eighty cents a pound U.S. dollars for these boards here. If it's the brown ones, I don't know if they pay the same because you'll have green or brown depending on the CD-ROM drive. I guess depending on who makes it. Alright, so from here we're just going to take off this circuit board here and it's connected to a motor and it just has a little clamp and it should just pop right out and this I'm just going to throw the whole thing just like that with my electric motors and then here, from here, you can just take off the this small motor here. That's for the the CD-ROM drive to open and close. So you're just gonna use a number one um, Phillips head screw, uh, tip, and so you just throw this whole thing like that with your electric motors. This here is, might, might be brass. No, it's not gonna be brass. I'm using one of these uh, magnets from the hard drives. Pretty good magnet to have around. So, throw that with my electric motor. And then, this centerpiece here, this is where it reads the CD drive from here from the laser. I usually take these off because the the little case that it's in it's going to be cast aluminum so I usually take that off I mean you don't have to if you don't want to but it's some extra aluminum there you can get this mortar out here uh, it's going to look like a different I'm going to say this one here yep. You need to just take off this little mortar, and your little mortar should pop right out. There you go, here's another mortar. So there's just going to be three small mortars there for this CD ROM drive, and this I'll just throw it with my tin, and there's really not much there. Oh, there's a little piece of board there you can get out real quick. You know, and that's just gonna be plastic with tin. You can just throw that away. Crap! I missed. And some tin. Tin bucket. No metal. All right, and this piece here. This is a pain to get all these little screws out. See, there's a lot, a lot of little small screws. Oh, shit. And this little thing has a lot of screws just for a little piece of cast aluminum. It's going to be a little board here that has gold in it, too. And there's gold right there, plating. And there's some more right there. 
I'll just take off this plastic wiring. Alright. Oh look, nice. This connection here, it all has uh, gold plated pins. Oh, that goes to the top part. So you can just take that off. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. See the little pins in there? Right back there. They're gold right there. You see them? So I'm going to go ahead and keep these. Alright, let me zoom back in. Alright, so back to this this piece here and just take all these screws I'm trying to do this as fast as possible and stick your screwdriver under here and it should pop right out and there's like the little lens there once it's not magnetic I'm just gonna throw it with my cast aluminum and there's gonna be a piece here that's just top piece here that's glued on there so we'll get that off. There we go. It's another piece. And I think that's going to be it. Oh, there's the other piece. They're like glued on there. There we go. So let's see you now. Give it the old magnet test. Alright, yep, yeah, it's gonna be all cast aluminum there. And back to the lens itself here, the there's nothing really going on here. So all we're gonna get here, guys, is uh these three mortars here, some plastic. A few ribbon wires, a little bit of some cast aluminum, and a little bit of steel, tin, and then the casing that I threw in there, and then a little bit of gold pins on this one here, and some gold plating there. So I wanted to show you guys how much one of these things weighed, or one of these uh, CD-ROM drive boards weighed. Just turn on my scale there. Put all my stuff away. All right, let me get the. All right. So we're gonna clear it up. All right. So that thing weighs. Jesus, the mosquitoes biting me. It weighs two point one ounces for the CD-ROM board so if we do the math here it's uh, 16 ounces and a pound so a 2.2 we'll say divided by 16 it's about a little bit over a tenth of a pound and then we're going to multiply that by the Price on board sword, which is two dollars and eighty cents, we'll get forty cents, well, close to forty cents. Uh, we'll get thirty-eight and a half cents for this board here. So, what I'm trying to say here is, how many of these boards will it take uh, to get a pound? And it's going to take about eight. You just multiply it. By the ounces, so eight times two is going to be sixteen. So about eight, eight of these boards, and you'll have a pound. So they do add up fast, especially if you do find a lot of computers, and they most of them have two CD-ROM drives in them. So four computers there, you got a pound of boards. Hopefully it's the green ones and not the brown ones. Um, so that's about it, guys, for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.